Hey, I'm J.M. Hirsch here at Milk Street, or actually today it's a Milk Street substation because like everybody else, we're all hunkered down in our homes and trying to make the best of things. Um, but in doing so, I've, I've noticed a trend that and I'm guessing it's not just me, that uh, happy hour seems to be getting a little bit earlier each day when we have no place to be. And, and so I, I decided that this was a good opportunity to maybe trot out some of Milk Street's tips and tricks that maybe you assume only work for food, but actually you can use to make a better cocktail too. And so I was gonna show you how to make one of my favorite cocktails, a scorched margarita. And it's an opportunity to talk about two of those tips. And so let's start, let's start by talking about kosher salt. And now I'm not talking about putting it around the rim of the glass because that's what you do when you have a, a lousy margarita and you don't want to taste anything but salt. Um, putting salt on the rim of a glass is the surest way to blow out your palate so that you can't taste anything else in the glass. I actually just put the salt directly into the cocktail and it doesn't take much and you're not actually going to taste the salinity of it. Uh, salt, you know, as we know, enhances the flavor of foods. It, it also enhances the flavor of, of drinks. And just like six to 10 granules of kosher salt added to the cocktail shaker, it completely transforms the cocktail. Uh, you're gonna get more rounded, more balanced flavors. And all you gotta do is a side by side and you'll never go back to not salting your cocktails. All right, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is uh, applying heat to citrus. Now, this is something we normally do when uh, we're you know, roasting chicken or turkey and we wanna squeeze some lemon or lime juice on it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll throw the lemons on the grill or under the broiler and, and what we're doing is we're caramelizing the natural sugars in the fruit and, and that's giving them a, a totally different characteristic of, of, of sweetness. It gives them a depth of flavor. Uh, it, it's also softening the acidity of the citrus, which is really nice because it makes a very different uh, flavor profile in the finished cocktail. Uh, so all I did was throw these under the broiler for like uh, two, three, four minutes and let them cool and then you juice them. Now, when you do that, you're gonna get a lot of pulp in the finished cocktail. So I tend to uh, double strain those cocktails unless you like them pulpy, in which case, go for it. All right, so I'm gonna make a scorched margarita. And all we're gonna do is start with three ounces of tequila blanco. This is a really simple cocktail. Uh, the um, scorched juice of half of a lemon and half of a lime. You can do all lemon or all lime if that's your thing. I'm gonna add a few drops of orange bitters and half an ounce of agave. Now, most people use simple syrup. Um, you can use that. Uh, I use agave syrup because it mixes just as well as simple syrup. It has a nice, clean, neutral flavor. Uh, and I don't have to make it, I can just buy it. It's cheap, it's easy. All right, uh, so there's that. And we don't wanna forget, of course, six to 10 granules of kosher salt. And you don't have to worry about it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna over salt it. Put some ice in. And we're gonna give it a really good shake. Usually 10 seconds will do it. Depends on how much dilution you want. And then we're gonna take our ginormous ice cube, pop it right in there. And open this one up. And Drain it right in. A lot of times if you have a really pulpy drink and you're double straining, you don't want to grab a spoon and just mix it around to make sure you get all the juice out of there. And there we go. That's it. There's your scorched margarita. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Milk Street is here. We want you to reach out to us. Let us know what you want to know.